stage, marionette company operate their own venue, the Puppet Theatre Barge. It tours the Thames and canals during the summer months, and then runs a winter season in Camden Lock, a collection of historic warehouses and stables, now converted into an arts and crafts and entertainment centre. stage marionette company. They carve the puppets and they operate them. face the monkey's world, the world we face. We went to the animal town, the birds and the bees were there. The boom, the boom, by the night of the moon was coming his open hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk and slid down the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees and what became of the monkey, 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 in the zoo. The monkeys were just like you. One fell out of bed and stood on his head and said it's a quarter to two. With a rope and a hoop and some sticks, they did the most marvelous tricks. We'll open the door and then you'll see more of what became of the monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. monkeys. The puppet is the instrument with which the Middletons explore the freedom of the spirit, mystery, fantasy, and the magic which is evident upon entering the foyer of the barge. Their production of Garthia Lorca's The Butterfly Spell embraces a theme which is close to the hearts of the Middletons. A young poet beetle falls in love with a butterfly, a creature from outside his realm. Many try to persuade him to relinquish his impossible dreams. Others realize that the need to follow one's heart beyond the possible may be the only way to freedom. Without you, my heart is withering. Pay heed to my words. Do not think of flying towards the mountains, but stay here in my house. I will catch for your delight a good cricket who will lull you to sleep at night, and at daybreak 
I will bring you pebbles from the pond, little dwarf ants, and you'll drink the dewdrops from my burning lips. What have I seen in your antennae, butterfly? Fairy's mirror. You're like a flower from another world, or like water's foam. Your body is cold. Come with me, for my den is warm, and from it you'll see the green meadows stretch into the distance. Have you no heart? Has not the fire of my words set you aflame? Then whom shall I tell my sorrows to? Oh, enchanted poppy, mother of the dew on my meadow, why? If water may have cool shadow in summer, if the dark of night is lightened by the endless winking of the stars, cannot my soul have love? Who gave me these eyes I hate, and these hands that try to clutch a love I cannot understand, and that will end my life? Who has lost me among shadows? Who bids me suffer because I have no wings? speak so, boy beetle? To my threshold, a fairy has come, clad in transparent snow, to steal my soul away. Do not look at her with hope, for then you may be lost. Little boy, your destiny hangs on the wings of that great butterfly. There's a connection between the lifestyle and work of Grenville and Juliet Middleton. They have consciously striven to make their life their work. And the harmony shows. It is natural that they are drawn to poets such as Lorca, who wrote, Our aurora of peace and love will never come until we respect beauty and stop ridiculing those who sigh after.